Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I'll show you what to do if you have too many background processes running on your Windows PC and how to fix this in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to clean up the Windows Startup. Now to do this, right click the Windows button, then select Task Manager from the list of options and in here simply click on the Startup tab. Now make sure to disable any unnecessary app in here, for example this one we can disable it and afterwards you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to perform a clean boot. Now to do this press the windows button then simply type msconfig and then select system configuration from the search result. Now in here head over to the services tab and then tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and afterwards click on the disable all button. Now click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and then you can check if the problems still persist. Moving on, another useful solution is to turn off background processes from settings. Now to do this press the windows button then select the settings icon, afterwards click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on installed apps. Now in here scroll down until you find any problematic apps, usually the background ones, like Microsoft Defender if you have another antivirus, click on the three dots next to it and then select advanced options. Now in here under the background apps permissions, click on the drop down menu and select never. Now you can just restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to uninstall any unnecessary apps. To do this press the windows button, head over to settings, now click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on installed apps. Now make sure to find any programs that you're not using anymore that can take some background space and power and just make sure to uninstall it. So click on the three dots next to it and then click on the uninstall option. Afterwards follow the on-screen instructions and then you're good to go. Restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.